10 Creepy Facts About the British Family The British royal family is an institution that has been there for over a thousand years in various guises. As a result, they have a very different perspective on the world than the rest of us commoners have. You're watching Get Curious where you get your dose of curiosity. Here are the 10 creepy facts about the British royal family. Lost Chapters of Prince Harry's History is at number 10. As the younger brother, Prince Harry was never expected to succeed to the throne bearing a catastrophic event, and he was therefore given a lot of leeway to pursue his own interests. Since getting married, he has avoided his own family and relocated to California in search of better business and philanthropic prospects. But he hasn't always been the courteous and compassionate man he's striving to be now. There is little doubt that it was challenging for Harry to grow up in the spotlight. The year 2005 is illustrative as he found himself on the wrong side of news headlines for acts that a great majority of us wouldn't even dream of doing. Images of him partying were widely published in British media. Even his future king brother was dressed as a lion for the party, which isn't very noteworthy or unusual. Unfortunately, Harry opted to attend the party in full Nazi regalia, donning a dessert suit and swastika armband on the days leading up to the annual Holocaust Memorial Day. And at first, he didn't seem to think anything was wrong. Eventually, he apologized for any offense and agreed that it was a bad choice of costume. But surely, every decent person in the world would realize that, without needing to be caught on camera by the paparazzi first. Cash Bribes and Prince Charles at number 9 While the monarch retains a constitutional role, they are meant to retain neutral in matters and not influence political events. However, they do have an extremely privileged position in public life and have access to all of the most powerful people in the country with regular meetings with the Prime Minister and other top officials. In one instance, he collected hundreds of thousands of pounds ostensibly in exchange for the contributor being granted British residency. In June of 2022, it was disclosed that he accepted three monetary gifts of 1 million euros each from a former Prime Minister of Qatar between 2011 and 2015. No one is claiming that any of these transfers were illegal and it looks that the money went straight to the king's charities. But you have to ask why someone would contribute money to him in this way and how many others have done the same that haven't been revealed. Coming up at number 8 is Edward VIII's Dubious Associations. Despite being involved in one of the most scandalous events in the last century of the monarchy, Edward VIII is often remembered as the romantic king who gave up everything for what his heart desired. He was king of the UK and the Commonwealth from January 1936 until the end of that year, when he abdicated in order to marry Wallace Simpson, an American divorcee with the Nazis, and was good friends with Adolf Hitler. The Nazi leader made a concerted effort to court Edward and documents later revealed that the plan was to invade Britain and keep him as a puppet king. Additional evidence also showed that he suggested Germany should bomb England into oblivion. The establishment not only tried to cover up this unacceptable relationship but also took matters into their own hands to ensure Hitler was never in way. Number 7. Prince John and his Exile Prince John was born in 1905 as the youngest of King George V and Queen Mary's six children. When George V became king in 1910, John became fifth in line to the throne. However, the royal family was concerned about this because John had been diagnosed with severe epilepsy the year before. John's condition worsened over the next few years, and because the royal family prioritized public image over John's health, he was sent to live with a nurse and a caretaker. His condition and the fact that he had died from a severe seizure were kept private until after his death but nobody was willing to give the family the benefit of the doubt. Years later, a letter written by Prince Edward, 11 years older than Prince John, emerged in which he described his younger brother's death as nothing more than a terrible annoyance, and said that the older prince had become more of an animal than anything else. It's the sixth one. Diana threw herself down the stairs. The marriage difficulties between Prince Charles and Princess Diana have been well documented and it led to her feeling like an outsider within the family and trapped within a loveless marriage. To the public, they put on a good appearance until the marriage broke down for good. But behind closed doors, things were very different. In a series of interviews for a biography, she said that while pregnant with William, she became bulimic, a disorder that she had struggled with since. The fifth, Winter wasn't always their surname. Today's royal family uses the surname Windsor. However, this is not a historically significant name passed down through the generations, but rather a name chosen by the family in 1917 to present a more virtuous image to the public during the height of the First World War, when the German Empire and its allies were attempting to significantly expand their borders. When King Edward VII, son of Queen Victoria, ascended to the throne in 1901, 
he changed the family surname to that of his mother. This, of course, had German connotations, and officials didn't think the British public or the rest of the world would accept this after what happened during the war. So the family decided to take the name Windsor, which has a long association with British royalty, through the town of Windsor and the royal residence that is located there. Fourth, the presumed last successor to the crown. While there are many examples of people going to extreme measures to attain power, one of the darkest stories of all occurred in the 1480s and forever altered the course of English and British history. In April of 1483, King Edward IV died, and it was previously stated that he wanted his brother Richard, Duke of Gloucester, to become the Lord Protector of his 12-year-old son Edward before he was crowned as Edward V. However, what actually happened was much more gruesome. It's not confirmed that Abby actually were of the boys, but it looks like it and it indicates Richard ordered their death to ensure he would continue on the throne. Third, we are the natural alarm. Most of us rely on alarm clocks, typically a timer on our phones, to ensure that we are awake and ready to face the day. But when you're living in the woods, nature can serve as your alarm clock. If you're the queen, you don't have to get up the same time as the rest of us. Instead, you have your own human alarm clock. The Piper to the Sovereign is a non-commissioned officer from a Scottish or Irish regiment and the position was founded in 1843 by Queen Victoria. Each morning at 9 a.m., the piper plays the bagpipes for the monarch for 15 minutes. Being woken up by the bagpipe music at the same time every morning is certainly not everyone's cup of tea, and is surely a questionable way to start the day. But depending on your views of bagpipe music and of using people in this way, you may think that this is an incredible luxury afforded to the queen or the thing of nightmares. Number 2. George Duke of Kent as the fourth son of King George V and Queen Mary, Prince George Duke of Kent was never in the running to succeed to the throne as king, so he joined the Royal Navy in the 1920s and worked for the government afterward. After becoming the Duke of Kent in 1934, he became an officer in the Royal Air Force and led a private life that his family did its best to keep secret. Rumors circulated about affairs with multiple people, both male and female, and various acts of sexual activity that were taboo at the time. There were also allegations of drug use, specifically morphine, to the Nazi regime similarly to his older brother Edward VIII, which all led to one of the biggest royal mysteries in recent decades in 1942. He and 14 others flew a raft flying boat from Scotland to Iceland on non-operational duties. The aircraft crashed before leaving Scotland, killing everyone on board except for one George who died at the age of 39. The fact that he was reportedly found with Swedish currency, which would have been worthless in Iceland, and an identified body at the crash site raises questions about whether he was actually on a secret mission or whether the accident was staged to keep the Duke from bringing disgrace to the family. Sarah Ferguson and John Bryan are at the top of the list. Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, married the Queen's second son, Prince Andrew, in 1986, expecting a life of luxury. However, she soon found the realties of being part of the royal family to be too much and the couple divorced six years later. What followed was a character assassination that truly could have only been planned at the top level of the family. The paparazzi probably wouldn't have been able to track her down without being told off though. What are your thoughts on this? Make sure to comment what's in your mind below. Again, don't forget to click like and subscribe for more interesting videos like this. Annyeong!